Uh, now then, there's no shortage of books about the Smiths, but now there's one with a difference. Yeah, Tim Scott explains just why. So every time a song finished, the crowd just went mad and cheered, and we were just annoying. We were singing Salford, Salford. The story of a band by those who saw them live. Screenwriter Chris Green is just one of dozens of fans whose recollections have been compiled in a new book, The Smiths, The Day I Was There. So we pushed onto the stage, a big mob of us, and as we pitched forward, the stage collapsed. And I can vividly remember going head first towards Mike Joyce's drums. I would go out tonight, but I haven't got a stitch to wear. The Smiths for me were, for a great part, the soundtrack of my youth. We were subconsciously looking for something new um, to follow and to get into. And when the Smiths came along, they were just like nothing anybody had ever heard before. So just when you thought you'd seen them all, Today, Chris meets up with Richard Horton, the man who's put the book together. And what better place to do so than at Salford Lads Club, with its room dedicated to the Smiths and their fans. What I've tried to do is tell their story in the words of the people who were there in the crowd, at the front, hearing the music, seeing the band on stage. It was me on drums, Johnny on guitar, and Morrissey came along, but I didn't like the cut of his jib. There were a couple of songs recorded, including Suffer Little Children, about the Moors murders, which was very morose, and I just thought, oh, what is this? Also in the book is drummer Simon Wollstonecroft's story of his audition for the Smiths before they were famous. He wasn't a fan of the singer and said no thanks to his mate, Johnny Marr. What was it about Morrissey then that you weren't keen on? His voice, mainly, and also he didn't look at me in the eye which I thought was a bit funny. And I didn't like what he was uh, wearing either. He had a shabby um, kind of raincoat on and winkle pickers. The Smiths, The Day I Was There is published next week. Tim Scott, ITV News, Manchester.